Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where I will show you how you can create or transform a data into a new table. So either you can say you can create a new table or transform the data into a new table based on some conditions. So the conditions are that uh, we need to move our columns into the rows as you can see it over here and then these values which is related to these columns is basically present over here which is basically saying sold is yes or no and we want to keep only the one which is sold right so if this is a requirement that you are facing then i will so show you how you can solve it uh, step by step right from the scratch this is just a very sim sim simple uh, sample data that i have taken just a quick information about uh, about all my power bi videos that I keep all my videos in a, this Google Sheet. The link is present in description. That way you can search very easily all of my 300 plus videos where I have given the title over here and the link is present over here. You can keep this as a bookmark and reference it for any project that I have published or any how-to video or any tips and tricks that I have published. So you can search it very easily and come down to uh, this particular workbook and get this information out. Okay. So that's about it, uh, the information and the data set. In, in this case, I'm using a very simple data set that you can easily replicate. But uh, if uh, you need more data set related to the project, this is the link or the link which I give in the description will bring you over here. And it has multiple data sets, as you can see, based on what I have published. Also, uh, recently I have started maintaining this sheet so that uh, Again, data set can be present anywhere, either in my Google Drive or anywhere on the internet. I can simply give the link over here and you can download that. Okay, with that information, I'll come to the workbook. So if you need this workbook, also instruction is present in description where I'm saving all of the scenarios that I am sharing. Okay, so coming back to where I was, come on over here. So coming back to this, what I will do is I will bring the data. I think what I have the data is in the CSV. In the CSV, what I will do is in the tutorial data set, this was the third scenario. So data number three, right, uh, that I am having. Okay, so let it come and I will show you in the transformation step how you can do that. So, okay, perfect. <laughs> So we have the data over here and we will click on the transform data. Okay. So transform data will take us to the power query where the step number one is that we need to move the columns into the, um, so I'll select from here, uh, hold down the shift and select all the columns. So I hold it, hold down the shift column and do that. And I can right click and the, the way I can bring these columns into the rows is by simply saying unpivot columns. Okay, so you can see this is how it is basically coming where we have this information. So attribute, we will change it to let's say product type. Value is present over here. So we can change it like we I showed you in the scenario that it needs to be sold. And then we need only those which is sold. So in this case, very easy functionality what Power Query provide is, we can simply select no, click OK, and this will record it as a filter step. So next time if you are refreshing this data or if you are updating the data in the sheet and you run this script, you will going to get the output which is the uh, updated output. So now you will see in the front end, you will going to get the desired data. And this is the data, which is the most useful from a reporting perspective. When we initially got the data from the CSV file, it was a wide structure. That's what we call because it had multiple product columns. But then we had now the one product column and one sold column, which is the useful or the um, uh, which is the required format for reporting because you can then uh, do any of the formula very easily by filtering a particular product type by comparing it and so on and so forth. So now if I just go here, I say product sold amount and I get the output. Okay, where are you? Output. Here you are, right? So 
product A, product B, C, D and we have this information. So you can see how easy it is uh, to, to basically bring all of that information very easily and uh, that way we can bring whatever uh, or we can summarize the data the way we need and we can see the data over here if you want to see the actual data this is how the data is now present in the front end okay so with that information i hope you enjoyed the solution and if you are looking if you are looking for the solution now you have it so go ahead and imply that so now i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic